Alrighty, what's going on guys? I haven't done one of these little vlogs in a hot minute. Been focusing more on the clickbait physique update short form type stuff. So but uh just gonna go over a few things. About 18 weeks out from my third competition. Let's go baby. Got this terrible tan line that I'm really trying to correct. Go into the pool. There's a local pool by my house, like five minutes away. And yeah, trying to correct this tan line. I think it's just gonna make everything worse. Like I think it's just gonna make my shoulders tanner because they're already tan. And it's only gonna make this slightly more tan. But I think I, I can figure out a way either, I mean, I looked it up as like four weeks. So like in four weeks it should be should have been gone. It's almost three weeks now. It's almost three weeks now, and it's still not. It's still visible, especially like when I go right here, dude. You can see it. It's it's pretty bad. I need to fix it. Um, I'm gonna be screwed on show day. So, but <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Of course I'm not gonna be screwed on show day. The the tan that they give me on show day will help correct it all, anyways. Um, yeah. 18 weeks out, and I guess in this video I just want to go over just locking it in, dialing it in. Um, that's pretty much it. Just lock yourself in. Get obsessed, you know. Especially, like I'm, a, I'm pretty good on staying on top of my nutrition and everything. I get a little bit, uh, I slack a little bit on the sleep, but <clears throat> like. When I know it's time for show prep and stuff, I say it's it's go time, baby. Like, there's no time like right now to lock in. You gotta lock in now. You gotta start now. If you don't start now, it you're not gonna be locked in at six weeks out, four weeks out. So lock in now when things are a lot easier to lock in and ease yourself into it. And a lot of it is just nutrition and a little bit more cardio. Not a whole lot of adjustments. If you're on top of your off-season eating, you know, eating those five, six meals a day clean, maybe one cheat meal a week or one cheat meal every two weeks. I didn't do, I did cheat meals obviously, but I kept them a lot cleaner. I maybe, maybe I did a dirty cheat meal once a month. Um, but I think I've slowly started to realize and just overall general health, like I don't feel good after as much as I like eating crap, <laughs> like crumble cookies, you know, and things like that, and all those sweets and things like that, I've slowly and, yes, yeah, so I slowly realized over time that it's not going to help you progress. Um, sometimes you do need them, especially if you're starting out and you just need to gain weight, but <clears throat> I'd say now that I'm this far into bodybuilding and lifting and fitness, I'm avoiding those meals more and more. So, just lock in, guys. Um, I might put some training clips in. I need. A, I'm gonna start doing full like training videos. Start going to YMCA, get all the workouts there, um, or some other gyms. I just gotta start doing it. So. Yeah, that's all I want to go over in this video. Just lock in, baby. Do today what nobody else wants to do so that tomorrow you're going to be better. You're going to be better. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to be ahead of the competition. So start now. So, alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next video.